Okay, so uh, during Amazon Prime Days, Prime Days, uh, I was looking for, I wanted a pair of clear, clear glasses that I could wear on the motorcycle. Um, and there's a lot of motorcycle glasses out there and they're fine. I usually find that they're like a little thinner. Some of them have padding, which is nice, but uh, during Prime, I saw these, the Rock Bros photochromic sunglasses for men, men, women, cycling sunglasses, uh, transition. So they do darken a bit. And, uh, I was, I was really curious if these would be a good option for one, super light Two, I think the glass part of them is bigger. Uh, and, uh, I'm going to give them a try on the motorcycle after we take a look at what comes in the box. So when I got these, uh, they were 20, like, I don't remember, again, it was Prime Day, I think it was like $25, $28, something like that, not a big deal. Um, photochromic sunglasses, the lenses will change with the intensity of the ultraviolet light. The stronger the UV light, the darker, which is cool, because it has to be like a UV, right? So if it's like indoor light, they shouldn't darken. Um, UV 400, which is nice, comfortable and lightweight, which I really like as well. Uh, it says that it's uh, comfortable on the bridge of your nose and above the ears. I would think most glasses should have that, but maybe not. More features, PC lens plus a TR frame. Uh, the lens is also easy to clean. Yep, 30 day money back guarantee. And it comes with a little adapter thing that you can get prescription glasses in if you require that, which I thought was cool. Um, here you go, instant change. Now, from what I've read, they're not gonna get like crazy dark, but they can darken a little bit, right? And it has to be it has to be like a UV light. So, okay, good reviews. They've got like four and a half stars, only 40 ratings, but this is the box that they come in right here. Rock Bros. That sounds awesome, right? Rock Bros. And what I do like as well, they come they come in a case, they come in a hard case, which is great because for me, these are gonna be glasses that I wear uh, primarily um, motorcycle riding. So um, I want a case that I can throw in my trunk or my saddlebags and they can bounce around in there when I'm not wearing them because normally I am wearing actual sunglasses, but you know, at night or just cloudy scenarios, I can go get them and know that they're not gonna be damaged because they're in this hard case, which I, I really like. Yeah, see that, right, this hard case? Yeah, that's that's excellent, right? Very cool. And inside it, you're gonna get the glasses. We'll look at those in a minute. You get this, which is the certificate of them being glasses, I guess. You get uh, a cleaning cloth, which is nice. You get a soft carry case, which is also, right? Rock, rock bros. And you do get, I have them here, um, just because I had them mounted already. See how I have them mounted in there like that? So these, I'll just take these off. These, if you, you can take them into your local eye, eye place and you can maybe put like prescription lenses in there so that you can mount them to the glasses. And then you've got prescription glasses. Yeah, which is, which is kind of cool. As of now, I don't need, but it doesn't mean I won't in the future. So I think that's a cool little add-on and something that uh, kind of nifty. So you can possibly see here, and my thought would be this light here is not UV light, right? So ready? They are, they are nice and light and they're already dirty because I took them out yesterday. Now, just like my wife said, I'm just looking at my monitor over here, right? They do, they do cover high. Now I actually like that. And do these adjust at all? I'm just curious, do they? Yeah, so the, the nose piece here, you know, it, it is bendable. So you can kind of move that around to get it right how you want on your bridge of your nose. Like, I think that's good for me right here. Um, they feel more like, you know, and you see those like guys playing racquetball and stuff like that. It kind of feels like that. But what I like about them is they do, you guys may be able to see that. Like they, because they are so large, they get right up above like your eyebrow line and they get up on your forehead, which is kind of nice. So they, they should stop some of the wind coming in. Now they don't have foam, like let's say bobbers or some motorcycle glasses have in them. Uh, and they do come down fairly low. They are nice and light and stylish at that. Yes. Um, but I think the only way I'm going to really figure out if I think these are 
working or will work is by taking them out for a ride. So I'm going to go for a quick ride and then I'll come back and I'll let you know my thoughts on them. Okay, two sex. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so normally, normally, this this is kind of what I ride in right here, right? And uh, they're fine, but because they're so like straight, there's a pretty big gap like between here and I do find, you know, especially when I get up to like 80 kilometers or faster that my eyes start to water. Um, now I got up to between 80 and 90 today with these. Yeah, definitely some wind coming in. I'm not going to say that there wasn't. There's definitely some wind coming in and not, not as definitely not as much as these, but you get a better seal with like motorcycle glasses that have like the foam that comes around here, right? Now the bonus of these that I am finding is that because they're so big, um, I almost forgot I was wearing them. Like they are really clear, like really clear. And the uh, frames are so large that they're almost out of your line of sight. Not quite, like they're there. Like if you look, you see them, but they're they're out there, which is which is actually kind of nice. Um, and yeah, they're they're just they're really clear. Which again, you, you know, that'll that'll change as they get dirty or scratched or anything like that. But the last thing. Um, when I was riding, I totally forgot that these were like transition styles, right? They they would change with UV light. And I put them on, I had them on in the house, and then as I went outside, I got the bike ready, and then I went for the ride and came back, and halfway through my ride, I was just kind of looking in the mirror, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're dark. Because they transition, they, and they may transition fast, I don't know, but they definitely um, were not too dark. And then the kind of over overcast cloudy weather that I was in which is kind of maybe the most that I would wear these in uh, the amount of tint was good not as much tint as you're gonna get with a dedicated pair of sunglasses for sure but I actually don't want that and there's a few reasons I don't want these to go crazy dark is that I've, I've heard little stories from people that have had transition glasses that you know they take a little bit of time for their glasses to transition from you know clear to tinted uh, and vice versa and they are riding and they go through a tunnel and by the what happens is they hit the tunnel right and their glasses are dark because they've been outside they hit the tunnel and it takes them forever for them to transition so that it's super dark in the tunnel so they're riding like trying to put their glasses down to be able to see and then of course they come out on the other side and it's bright and it takes them a while for them to darken again um, because they go real dark for example my wife's normal everyday glasses do that and she's always complaining that they're tinting when uh, she doesn't want them to or vice versa right so these do tint not to the extreme and you'll you'll see hopefully maybe I'll put up a clip here you can see how dark they are um, decent for sure, decent. Um, am I glad I got them? Yeah, I think so. For 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 my use, I don't wear clear glasses very often, unless of course you're in, you're caught in a rainstorm, you're caught riding home at night when you didn't expect to be out that late, or in the morning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So having something that I can have in the back that I can put on, and I wore these with, uh, as you saw, right, a uh, half helmet. And so I was allowing as much possible wind to come in as possible. And like I said, up to 80, 90, I was okay. Um, definitely some wind coming in through the sides here, but not near as much as these. So I think I think you can get by for sure. Um, yeah, and if you're a cyclist or something like that, you know, why not? All right, my friends, uh, these are the, I don't even remember what these are called. What are these? Rock something? Hillbillies? Rock bros. Yeah. Rock Bros. Yeah, pretty cool. I'll leave links down below if you guys are interested and think they would be cool glasses for yourself. Uh, if not, let me know what you guys wear for your clear glasses. I'm sure most of you are wearing actual motorcycle glasses, which is cool. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you fine folks next video. Probably tomorrow. Later, guys.